Hey everyone, Sarah here, and I am here to set up my work bullet journal for the month of February. So if you guys don't know me, my name is Sarah, and I am a continuous improvement project manager. Oh, that's a mouthful. So basically, I'm, I focus on ways to improve productivity and efficiencies for big companies, and I basically have done this taken those tools and applied them into my own personal life and my everyday planning here. So, and I even do my own continuous improvement project for myself each year, which we do over on my Patreon. So if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more about work bullet journaling and with the flair for project management, I guess. Uh, so here I'm just putting in my calendar spread for the month of February. Nothing fancy here. I keep this very clean with just work deadlines. So it's just all about work, work calendar, work flow, what the cadence of the month is, when's month end, when are presentations due, all that fun stuff. I keep it very, very clean because I like to see the flow of the month. Then I have a deadlines list, which we'll get into in a bit, and then a next actions list and a waiting on um, list, which I accidentally used the wrong sticker there. So in uh, another waiting on list, and these are just lists that are very clear, very clear and precise to keep me kind of focused and knowing what I'm chasing and what I'm working on. So here's my next actions list from last month. And a next action for me is just a to-do that's work-related, even though sometimes I'll throw a personal thing in there. But anyway, it's just all the things that I have to do. And in my mind, next actions are work-related to-dos, and then a to-do is a personal to-do. I don't know why I think like that. It's just the way I do. So that's how I just went with it, people. Um, so anyhow, I'm just updating all the next actions that I have done. And I look at this list because it's kind of like my top three. I'll look at it and pull out some top threes for each day. And I'm going through and I'm just checking off what I did and really just seeing like, hey, do I need to do this still? Is it actually still a priority? And I did notice that I put like waiting on things I'm waiting on, like follow up with so-and-so. It is kind of a next action, but I'm actually, I'm actually waiting on it. So I'm, I decided to start using the waiting on list for that. So here, like I said, I'm just putting in my, like all the different things that are due for each month, like, you know, what the paydays are, what the month ends are, when time cards are due, because oh my God, I forget that all the freaking time and they're always chasing me for it. I have like a mental block on them. Yes, I have a reminder in my outlook, but it doesn't matter. I just have a mental block, <laughs> but like things like big presentations or, um, we have different routines each week that I try to have my team focus on. So we really drive those, those behaviors and those habits to that support the cadence for the month, you know, with the customers and the financials and all that fun stuff. And then I have this list of deadlines and this is new for me. What I always found was I just wanted a list of all the deadlines in the month for all the areas of my life. And to me, it's like a bullet list, a checklist, dun, 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 dun. Like just not like dun, 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 like the sharks are coming, <laughs> but like this is done, done. This is done. This is done. This is done. Um, Because I just like to have it because it helps me really stay focused because there could be a deadline that is three weeks away, but it takes four weeks of work. I want to know the looming deadline so I can spread out the workload, if you will, throughout the time. And for some reason, just a clear list of deadlines is really helpful to me. Um, so I have like just a clear deadline list when my presentations do, what month end is do, things I want to post on YouTube, what's on Patreon, um, just random things. So 
Then I'm going into migrating my next actions. And like I said before, I like to refresh my next actions each month because it keeps it front and center in my brain. Also, it almost gets cluttered with stuff that becomes not important. Do you ever get like, oh my God, the sky is falling. This is a major priority only for like four days later. Nobody's even talking about it anymore. Well, that is why I like to refresh my next actions list. So I'll leave the stuff that I didn't do that I feel is not a priority. I'll leave it there just to like make sure that I don't forget about it. It might need to stay in the back of my head, but it doesn't need to be front and center when I'm trying to figure out what my top threes are and things I need to work on. And then my waiting on list, I really, um, I really like the waiting on list because Like I was saying, I would put like follow up with so-and-so, but yes, that is what I have to do. And a waiting on list really becomes kind of a follow-up list for me, but I like to just have a clear thing of like, who do I need to follow up with? Because in my morning routines, I'm starting to love, like I have this cadence where I run the reports and then I, you know, update the dashboards and then I do the time cards. Well, I just started the time card thing because I knew I was failing on it and I do the time cards and then I do like some emails and now I'm like, who am I following up with today? So it's so great to have that just that like fresh list to just look at and cross off. Like I'm not waiting on this anymore. And also just like I also have a section of my daily page for these things. Like I have an inbox and in my weekly uh, planning session, I'll go through all my daily pages and I'll migrate the next actions into the next actions list or the waiting ons, I'll migrate them into the waiting on list. So I may just put them right in the waiting on list, but I know I always have my daily, my planner open to the daily page. I always have that. And then I have my work bullet journal open to whatever notes page I have that day. And I'm just like, I'm always in one of the two. So it's just a way to always have something just right there at my ready and I put it away for later and I can kind of like sort it. I always say it's like putting the car keys in the same spot every day. That's how I think of it. And I created a new section for highlights because I have to do a presentation every month and talk about like the highlights and, you know, next 30, 60, 90 days, all those fun things. And a lot happens during the month. But then when I go to write at the presentation, I'm like, what do I want to talk about? I can never think of it. So I want to put those highlights, just kind of put them down in that section. So that is it. That's my work bullet journal. So I hope you liked it. And if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of these other videos that I think you might like. Thanks everyone. Take care. Bye.